Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Bundle Unboxing um, with Riddler Gaming. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, Mojam Bundle, the Humble Bundle Mojam, which was released uh, February the 17th, I think it was, last year. So it's about a year old this. And basically the challenge was that Mojang and a couple of associates of theirs, uh, I think it was Wolffire and Oxi Studios, all had 48 hours into which to make a game. And obviously these guys had a relatively big team, so they can kind of produce quite a good game. Um, this is the Moja Mojang one. It's called Catacomb Snatch. I think they were given a steampunk Egyptian type game that they had to do. This game is actually pretty cool because it's got online multiplayer, um, which is really, really unoptimized and quite uh, hard to play. But yeah, this game is pretty much only co-op, so... Um, yeah, like, I'm just going to show you what it looks like, really, because I can't show you too much of the gameplay, because you can't really play it on your own. But the first thing you'll notice is, it looks awesome. Like, the sprites and everything, for, for 48 hours work, it's pretty co damn cool. So, I am Lord Lard, the uh, the British explorer, the intrepid British explorer, um, who goes off and shoots things. If you look at down the bottom, there are percentages, and the idea of the game is to get those percentages to 100%. And how you do that is you spend your money that you collect by killing all the enemies on train tracks to uh, get to the middle of the map. And then you can bring back the payloads uh, inside, I think. Oops, damn it, I just did that. But yeah, I think that's what you do. Like, I'm trying to remember because I haven't played this in absolutely ages. This game is pretty cool. Like, I think a lot of people who bought the bundle kind of not didn't really play the game very much. Um, I, I watched the stream like religiously because they they live streamed the whole thing, and it was whilst I was doing my dissertation for university. So every break that I had during my dissertation was spent on my laptop watching the, the live stream and watching all the assets and everything come to life. It's pretty cool. It's amazing how they came up with the game. I mean, it's pretty good. I've got to say. I think the most underrated thing though about this uh, bundle is the fact that the soundtrack is absolutely insanely good. It's by uh, C418, the guy who did the um, Minecraft soundtrack. And someone else who I'll put in the description because I feel really bad for not remembering it. And I'm taking a beating, my health is quite low. I'm trying to kill off the tombs which are like enemy spawns. Um, there's quite a lot of enemies spawning. A lot of bats anyway. So the aim of the game was to basically finish and um, get all the stuff in the middle back to your base before your opponent does, who is Herr von Speck. I'm guessing he's German. He sounds German. Oh, I died. There's not really much of a penalty. There's a shop back here as well, so I can buy this bomb. Um, if I can remember the button to buy it, I think it might just be... No, nope. what is it? Is it X? Is it Z? C? No, C shoot as well. I can't remember the button to buy this thing. That's annoying. How do you... Oh, is it because I don't have... An, I've only got 51, that's why. I don't need money. Herp de derp de derp. I think when you die, all the spawners come back as well. Or at least the spawners seem to keep coming, which is quite annoying. But if you look at the enemies, I mean, they look pretty badass. Um, especially the mummies. With their, like, one eye poking out. I think they were the best thing that, that were made during these... Uh... Right, so now I've got 500 gold. I can actually show you guys the shop. It's quite a difficult game, like obviously they didn't spend long on it, so don't expect it to be balanced in any way. I mean there's far too many enemies. Uh, how do I buy this then? Is it that? Ah, here we are. So I have a bomb. Right, I'm going to try and run through all the enemies without dropping said bomb. Or oh, dying. Ow. So many enemies. Oh god. And you see the minimap down the bottom right. So there are two more games to do in this bundle, which I'm going to give you a look at. Oh god. Ah, it's so pretty, yet yeah. how the hell is anyone expected to do this? <sighs> look how overrun it gets, this is ridiculous. I can't remember it being this, like, bad. <laughs> this, is, this is insane. Like, how am I meant to... Uh. Yeah, this, it's kind of like... Christ, what's that gem? So yeah, I think I'm going to call it qu 
quits on this one. Like, it's pretty interesting what you can come up with 48 hours. Um, obviously it's multiplayer, so I can't give you a full game of it or anything. And even if I did have someone playing it with me, it's really, really laggy. I've, I have tried before. Um, the best bet is to just like spam the tracks until you get quite close to the to the middle, and then like kill off a few things and spam tracks again. I can't even get to the middle of the map to show you what's in the middle because of all the enemies. And even if you kill spawners, they seem to come back. It's interesting, that's for sure. But yeah, um, this is Catacomb Snatch, I guess. I'm, I'm going to try one more time just to get in the middle, just to show... God damn it! There's no way to do this! Right, yep, that's me done for this one. Um, next up is Oxi Studios uh, Fists of Resistance, which is pretty cool, so I'll see you there. Hi guys, just a quick note, I've just found out that Catacomb Snatch is actually available online. If, you, if you're interested, they um, released the source code to the community. And there's a website where you can play the game, and um, they've added like loads of different functions, and I think they've kind of, the community has fixed the game, so it's playable online and stuff. I'll put the link in the description, and yeah, I thought you just might like to know that, so yeah, see you in a bit. Right, hi guys, we're back again, this is Fists of Resistance by Oxi Studios. They're also famous for um, Cobalt, which I think is still in Alpha at the moment, but it's being published on Mojang, hence their collaborations in this so there's a multiplayer as well, as well as single player, which is nice to have single player, because not a lot of people will have these games. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is a beat-em-up game. It's kind of like a dungeon crawlery thing. Um, you can kick and punch ah. enemies. And um, basically it's set in a Nazi bunker. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The, uh, it looks pretty cool. Like you guys quite bare bones and everyone in Nazi Germany is bald by the way, just so just like I'll let you on that before you notice yourself. So here we are. So there's like a like, like a spot there, like a spawn room in there. So I can pick this up and just throw it at some Nazis. The sound effects are really good. Like this the punching feels pretty uh like hard hitting. So you can see obviously the hearts, which are the health, and you can collect gold. I guess that might be a score. And for some reason, when the Nazis die, it makes a farting noise. I mean, don't ask me, I've got no idea. You can pick up, like, little stones that kill everyone, it's great. It's just, like, manic, you just go in and punch the shit out of people. And it has their names, if you look in the top right, when you punch them. Ah. But they spawn on those, like, black tiles, or the darker tiles. The controls are a bit difficult to use because it's just kind of like up and you know it's, it's the four hour keys but there's no like way to go diagonally and depending on the map uh, like the way you're looking at the map it kind of handles a bit strangely. Die. Nazi scum. They all look like Captain Picard and Captain Picard would never be a Nazi so I have problems. So the aim is to escape, um, I think you find the escape by randomly meandering around the levels. The dungeons are actually really big. This guy's still chasing me down. This room's huge. I love the sound effects that the Nazis make. It's just like, just completely ridiculous. Die, Stefan Zeitz. Aha, take that. So I am Akim Boobenzer. Well, this game, I think, I, I seem to remember this one taking slightly longer, like they went slightly over the 48 hours limit. I think it was 48 hours. It might have been 72, but I don't know, it was a short amount of time, I know, it was like one weekend. The farting sound effects, what is with those? Let's pick this up. The green one, I don't know what the green one does differently. But we'll find out. Ah. Oh yeah, it drops mines, that's right. These mines are really awesome. Run! They have like a huge blast radius. <laughs> That's so dead. We've got another one here. You can use this to kill the spawns as well. So I'm going to carry this one with me because I feel like we can kite these guys. The music's quite nice in this one as well. Not quite as good as the Mojang one. You actually got a copy of the uh, 
the soundtracks with the Cat Fume Snatch game. And, like I've listened to that so much just in my own time. Like it's just it's a really really good soundtrack. So I'm gonna blow up the spawns. <laughs> Why did they make farting noises? It's really weird. So let's keep going. We have got like half the German army chasing us now. I think we've boxed ourselves in. No. The fog of war is interesting because you can't see anywhere at all. Like you have to make random guesses about which way to go. Can I go this way? Oh god, there's so many of them. Stop punching me. You can get health and stuff in those uh, like chests, I guess they are. Oh god, no. No! Right, let's just pick this up and use this to kill some Nazis. Oh, Jesus, he exploded. Let's punch. I quite like this game, I've got to say. Probably the best one to, well, it's the, probably the best one to play on your own. I have no idea where I'm going at all. <laughs> Man, he just, like, I, it's quite satisfying, like, lobbing the uh, the chest at them. It really does feel like you just, I don't know. It's a good game, this is really funny. <laughs> I'm going to be amused by that every time I do it, it's great. There are like little pebbles on the floor as well that you can pick up and they seem to just go through like the skulls of people. It's quite brutal. Maybe it's this way. I'm gonna pick up the green one because they sometimes have stuff under them. And they have mines in them when you lob them at people. Oops. Yeah, let's get this mine. And run. Run with the mine. And steal all the Nazi gold. See the little pebbles all over the floor then, are the, uh... I'll put one of these up. Du -du -du -du. I don't know why he holds it over his head. <laughs> why do they make farting noises? It's just like... It's the most ridiculous thing, and also it's really funny. Ooh, so many mines. <laughs> Carnage. Oh no. Yeah, they have a massive blast radius. Right, I think I'm gonna leave it there for this game, guys. This game is it's pretty funny, I've gotta say. Oh no, escape, escape! Explosive ending, there we go. Alright, see you later guys, we're gonna go for the last game which is Broadside Express by Wolffire Games. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is the one made by Wolffire Studios, the Broadside Express. Um, Wolffire, if anyone doesn't know, are the guys who made Overgrowth, or are making Overgrowth. And they have like extensive... Oops, I need to click on there. Uh oh, no! Let's try not to... No, I've just died already. Bloody hell. I didn't click on the web player. Uh, this game is made in the Unity engine. It's got it's uni using the Unity web player at the moment, which is quite cool. Um, you play a train which has cannons. This is going back to the whole Egyptian steampunk type thing. Um, as you can see, you've got a hood so you can know your speed and stuff. It's quite interesting. But um, yeah, this it isn't really a game as such. Like it's more of a tech demo because there's no goal whatsoever. There are these scorpions which try and set you on fire. You can shoot like uh, broadsides out of you, and you'll see an enemy train pull up alongside there. So we can attach. Uh, well, we can attempt to attach ourselves to the. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. And I did. I died again by being set on fire. Ah, oh, god. You went to attach yourselves to these. Uh, what they called carriages. There you go. There's the word. Carriages. So you can attach yourself to the carriages. And then uh, you have like a longer amount, you have like a larger broadside fire, but it's really difficult, like the controls are pretty crappy, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say, oh I've got it on, I've got it on, I've, I'm dead, damn it, I'm dead, ah, oh, I just managed to get it on as well, but flipping fire breathing scorpions, so the game's at a really weird camera angle as well, like, ah, 
It's hard to tell, like, if there's anything going on or what's going on. But it looks awesome. Like, it's it's really really cool. Like, to have a game that looks this nice. I think it's just a two. It's a two-man team, Wolfire as well. Unlike Mojang, who've got like obviously a massive. Well, not massive, but a big enough team. Um, so yeah, for a two-man team to do something like this. It's also compatible with Mac and Linux, which is quite awesome. Uh, as, so is Catacomb Snatch, but uh, Fissa Resistance is only Windows. Ow. I'm being just... get my ass kicked. Oh no! Everyone is dead. It's funny because like, you can see how healthy your crew are by the status down in that little like sprite picture. So as everyone's being set on fire. Everyone. No, it's fine, it's fine. They're okay. They were set on fire for a little bit, but then they were fine. So yeah, like I say, it's, it's more of a tech demo. I mean, it works. There's no aim whatsoever. You can kind of just go and drive through the sand if you want. And then go and try and connect yourself to one of these... One of the carriages. But they're so, they're so hard to, like, get on. I don't know. I have, I have problems. <laughs> with this game. It's not really a game. Uh, that's all I can say about it. Like, it's fun. Like, you you can mess around with it, but there's no aim whatsoever. At least, like, Catacomb Snatch had the aim of beating your friend on a co-op, and uh, Fist of Resistance had the aim of killing all the Nazis and escaping. Then again, you can't really complain with two men doing this in 48 hours, can you? Like, I shouldn't really be. Shouldn't really be complaining whatsoever, they're doing a good job. But yeah, that's the uh, the Mojam bundle on Humble Bundle. If you haven't heard of HumbleBundle.com, seriously, what have you been doing? Um, but I'll put the link in the description. You can get loads and loads of games for cheap. Uh, and it also helps charity and helps the developers as well. It's a really, really good cause and a really good site. So I'll put the link down in the description. Um, and yeah. I think that's going to wrap it up. I think I am going to leave it here with the Broadside Express. The animation's really good, actually. Haha, -ha, crush some scorpions for the end of the game. Right, and everyone's going to set on fire, and that is the end of the Broadside Express, except it isn't. Anyway, right. I'll see you later, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, all those things, all that jazz, and I shall see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye.